Hey guys, Paradox Cubing here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on AUF. So this tutorial is mainly for beginners who don't know what AUF is. Some of you might already be doing AUF, but you might not know what it is. So AUF stands for Adjust U Face, which basically means at the end of PLL, so let's say it's like this, you solve PLL, and then you're left with this one U turn. So you adjust the U Face by doing either U, a U prime or a U2. So, so that's what AUF is. Some of you might already be doing it, you just don't know what it's called, but at least now you know what it's called. And so now I'm going to teach you the AUFs for the different cases so you don't waste time trying to figure out which way it's supposed to go if it's like a U prime or a U. I'm just going to show you guys um, how you can recognize it faster. So, for example, you're, you're just finishing up OLL and then you get this T permit right here. So, you know that you have to hold the headlights on the left side. And then the headlights have to be matching with the, with the right color. So that means that this side has, is supposed to be the orange side. So the orange side is back here, meaning we have to do a U in the end to solve it. So if we do the algorithm first, and then that means we have to do a U to solve it. So to recognize this, what I do is I look at this corner right here. If these two colors are matching, it means I have to do a U. If these two colors are are opposite, so uh, red and orange are opposite. So if these are opposites, that means I have to do a U prime. If uh, they're not opposites or match, I know that I have to do U two. So you just solve it, and I have to do U two. So that's what I do for the T perm, and I'm going to show you guys some of them, so you guys know how to figure them out. Just quick little tricks to figure out some of to uh, some of the. Uh, AUFs, but I'm not going to show you all the AUFs because it would, this video would be way too long. I'm just going to show you a few of them so you guys get the idea and then you can figure out the rest on your own because it's really not that hard. It's pretty simple. You just have to kind of think of different ways that um, it, it, it matches up. So the next one we're going to be looking at is a U perm and it's one of the U perms. So uh, first thing for this one you need to know if the edges are supposed to be cyclo-clockwise or counterclockwise and then you need to I figure out the AUF. So for this one, I used for for U perms. I figure out which way the the edges have to cycle, so then I know what al what algorithm to use. So I usually look at this sticker here and the the edge facing me, and I know if they're if they're same, I know they have to go clockwise. But if they're different colors, then I know it has to go counterclockwise. So in this case, they are the same and. So they're going to go clockwise, and to know where to do the AUF, I know that the corners always match up with the right color, so that means that since these corners are green, this side should be green, which means, and green is opposite of blue because these two colors are opposite, that means that I have to do U2 at the end to solve uh, AUF. So I'm just going to do... I'm just going to solve that and then U2 in the end. And like the first thing when I look at U perm is I see these two corners because they're facing facing right towards you, these, uh, the headlights. And then when I look on the left side to check if it's supposed to be clockwise or counterclockwise, I see which color this side is. So this side is blue and I know that the corners are blue. That means I'm going to have to do a U. And if these two colors are different, I have to do a U prime. So just solve this and then do a U at the end. And if the two colors are different, that means you have to do a U prime. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a couple totally random ones that come up and show you guys how I solve them. So I'm just going to do a quick solve and uh, we'll see what the PLL is. And here I get the U perm that we just went over. So so in this case, you would hold it like this with the uh, headlights uh, with the solved edge at the back. And then I know these two colors are different, so it's going to be um, anti um so it's going to be uh, cycling counterclockwise, and then I know it's a U because I instantly saw that these two colors were the same. Let's do another one. I'm just going to solve that. And then here we have uh, an R perm. So we saw, and with the R perm, I usually just do the algorithm, and then at this step, like here in the step, I see these. Um, 
I usually determine uh, which way it's going to go <clears throat> by these. So if they're the same colors, that means that I'm going to have to do a U2. If they're opposite colors, I know I won't have to do a U2. But it also depends on which, uh, uh, which algorithm you do, because there's a few different ones you can do for that. Just finishing up all, all again. Okay, so here we have one of the A perms. For this one, I know that if the headlets are the same, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a U at the end. So, and then it's a U at the end. Um, if the headlights are opposite colors from the center, from the side that it's on, I know it's going to be a U prime, like that. In this case, where the headlights and this side are not opposites or the same color, I know it's going to be a U2 automatically because it's not opposites and it's not same color so it has to be a U2. For basically for AUF you really need to know your opposite colors really well so it's um, green and blue are opposite, orange and red are opposite, and white and yellow are opposite. So you need to know those really well and you have to be able to recognize them right away and that, that'll help your AUF a lot. So for this one I, I use opposites to recognize my AUF so I don't use other colors because it's more harder for me. So for example here I for the last ones I used um, the same color and opposites for headlights and this one it's harder for me to tell if it's going to be a U or a U prime so I look at the edge instead and I, I can automatically recognize uh, if the uh, that they're opposite colors so that means gonna be it's going to be a U because it's going to be a U2 because in the A perm the edges are all supposed to be aligned up so once I solve it I know it's going to be U2 so for AUF you, you really need to know your uh, your opposite colors because that's going to help a lot and you just need to know your color scheme overall. So I know that wasn't a lot of uh, PLLs that I showed how to solve AUF. You can use the techniques that I showed you to figure out which what the AUF is going to be and apply that to all the other algorithms and you should be able to figure out which, which where the AUF is going to go. Figuring out the AUF isn't that hard at all. You just have to look at the sp specific colors and figure out if there's opposites or same colors and it's really easy so you should be able to do the rest on your own that was just a few for examples so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one